Hello, Holy Wiremite here with tutorial 22 in the Lewis series, where we're going to be taking a continuation from tutorial 13F, which we covered animated panels. But this time we're going to go a little bit deeper to animation with specifically the model panel. So let's go into the main menu and continuing off from tutorial, like I said, we're going to take this and we're going to create another sheet. And this is going to be what we're going to be putting all of our code on. So this is just pretty much like creating a panel for us to put our stuff on for those who are unfamiliar and we're going to name the tab model and we're going to give that tab the icon uh let's give it the help icon why not okay so now what we need to do here is create a model panel so how we do that is we say local icon and that's going to be equal to a vgui create and let's say it's going to be d model panel and also we're going to be parenting it to sheet three. Okay. So then let's then set the size of this. So we'll do set size and let's say just 200 by 200 units. That's good. And let's dock it also to the left. Okay. And also we can set the model inside of this by using set model. And let's grab the model of our local player, which is going to be our client. And let's get the model of that player like that all right so now normally when you're making one of these the model will just spin in circles over and over again so how you disable that is you're going to type function icon layout entity and this is going to be the entity which is inside the model the icon itself and we're just going to return end such so going to instruct it to not do anything fancy and we're just going to leave it as such so then also if you want to change the color here's how you do that type icon entity and we're going to say get player color and we're going to return vector and this is between values of zero and one right here so it's going to be uh how much of a percentage you want to be each color so i want 100 percent red 100 percent blue or zero i mean 100 percent green zero blue or red green blue yeah anyway so that's going to be that. And also let's do it to where we change the camera. So I'm going to create another one so you have something to compare it to. So we're going to have to change all these to icon 2. And everything up to here is good. And let's say we want it to spin. So we can do that by getting that rid of that. So I'll show you what spins look like. And we're going to have icon 2 now. Icon 2 we're also going to set the field of vision. And that's going to be 45. This is going to be a numerical input right there. Okay, so now we have icon 2, and we're also going to set the camera position. All right, so let's do that. Now, you can also get the camera position like this, and that's actually very useful when setting the camera position to actually know where your camera is and where you're going to move to relative to that position. So let's say we want to raise it 25 units in the Z direction. Well, that's how we do as such. All right, so... Let's then do something very similar again. We'll copy and paste and we'll have another comparison, except we want to zoom out this time. So I'm going to put icon 3. And it's okay to leave this here. That's fine. So now let's set the camera position. I'm not going to put the field of vision, uh, field of vision thing so you can uh, see what it looks like when I don't have it. All right, so we're going to also put a 3 right here. And let's put icon 3, get look at right so that's where the camera is looking at or that vector position and we're going to subtract these two so now it's going to zoom out and whatever I multiply this by let's put this in parentheses but whatever I multiply this by that's how much the zoom is going to be so if it's anything greater than one it's going to zoom out and if it's less than one it should zoom in so if I put 0.5 it should zoom in so anyway let's put a value of three and you'll see a very zoomed out model and lastly, I'm going to show you how to animate. So let's do one more of these. And we'll say icon 4 instead of icon 3. It's actually useful to do it like this so you can see where all the icon 4s are. Except we don't actually need this because we're not going to modify the camera position. We're just strictly going to animate. And how you do animations is you go into your layout entity. So before the return, of course, and let's get this into proper structure. There we go. 
So before the turn return, rather, we are going to have actually no, we're not even going to have a return. So there's going to be no return. We're going to say int set sequence, and we'll say int lookup sequence. All right. So we're going to be looking up the sequence, which is defined here as taunt dance. So we want our guy to dance or a model to be dancing. So that's good. So now let's set a condition. We'll say that if int get cycle. So this is going to be like how much of a percentage represented in numerical form, like uh, from a value of 0 to 1, is the cycle at. So for example, if the cycle is 98% complete, so let's say 98%, so greater than or equal to 0 0.98, which you can also say 98 divided by 100. That's just as valid. So if it's this, then what we want to do is say that we're going to set the cycle. And we're going to set it equal to 0 0.02. So that's going to be 2% into the sequence duration. You can look at it like that. It's pretty easy to understand. So then the last thing we have to do is say icon 4 and we will run animation okay and that's it so let's go in game and see what happens alrighty so we are now in game and there's one error to address and that's on line 142 where this should be greater than or equal which is a slight typo but anyway going inside and pressing the F4 menu we have the models right here and the first one as you can see it's not spinning at all and then the second one is spinning as the field of vision is also different and we also have the camera position slightly raised. The third one, if you recall, is simply a zoom out. So it's very identical to the first one, except the zoom is much different. And also on the last one, we have the animated um, model panel. All right, so I hope that answers all your questions. If you have any more, of course, feel free to leave some in the comments below. And as always, if you like the material, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.